Math does not teach critical thinking skills. Despite what your teachers may have told you or what pop culture may have told you, math does not do anything for building your critical thinking skills in and of itself, especially in a public school or compulsory school context. To understand why, you have to first understand what critical thinking really involves. Critical thinking is learning how to use deductive and inductive reasoning. It's learning how to critique sources and use Raven analysis. It's learning how to hone one's executive functioning skills, which are skills that help someone get organized, stay on task, and think through things linearly and logically. It's learning how to break apart information and to put together pieces that may seem disjointed at first. It's having the time to be free to fully explore a topic and think about it from many points of view. As it's taught, mathematics is really just distilling down what's been discovered by others and handing it off to students in order to memorize and learn and practice through. Even schools that see themselves as cutting edge and using universal design for learning or 21st century framework and applying critical thinking skills activities with warm-ups really don't get to the core of developing critical thinking. They're doing nothing more than providing activities where students get a little bit more freedom and a little bit more choice to choose what it is they're doing. They're not really diving into how to think critically. And the reason why schools can effectively teach critical thinking is twofold. First, as long as there are district diagnostics and state tests that students have to take, those teachers have to push students through the curriculum and they have to cover all the benchmarks that are required for the test. Which means that even if a student hasn't fully mastered or been able to dive into the topics, they have to push along because they have to get that child ready to take the test. Second, any child who truly and meaningfully masters critical thinking will be a huge distraction to the classroom. They're going to ask the teachers why on every single topic. They're going to ask teachers why the source should be believed about what they're saying. History will always be interrupted because some student will want to dive into the source materials and really critically think about the different sources that were used in order for the textbook to be made. They're going to take a look at mathematics and they're going to say, how did that formula get found? They're going to want to do research as to those who first discovered discovered it and the context in which those mathematicians were able to make that discovery. They're going to demand that they need more time to dive into a topic before a test because they don't feel like they've truly mastered it and critically thought about it. In some select topics of mathematics, there is opportunity for critical thinking, such as in the beginnings of geometry with syllogisms and with if-then conditional statements or truth tables in mathematics. In reality, those critical thinking opportunities for mathematics are often secondary to needing to memorize and get down the information needed to get an A in the class. The testing always comes first and the depth of knowledge always comes second. And that makes sense because only a fool would ignore the fact that at the end of the day, everything that matters as far as a student is concerned is a grade. Those end of year tests don't evaluate whether a student has done any type of independent, in-depth critical thinking or research on their own. It just evaluates whether or not they've gotten the right answer on the test. So when people say that mathematics teaches critical thinking skills, you should ask them how much time they actually spent doing inductive reasoning, deductive reasoning, Raven analysis, other types of critical source analysis, or just had the free time to be able to dive deeply into a topic before being forced to move on. While mathematics certainly does test a child on their executive functioning skills, and while mathematics may require a student to apply critical thinking skills and apply executive functioning skills, it does not necessarily mean that mathematics is teaching critical thinking.